On an uncharted island sits a lighthouse. It's a very special lighthouse that projects a message of love and hope throughout the world. The Protectors are a special team chosen to protect our world from the Syndicate, an evil group determined to spread darkness. These Protectors, chosen to fight the Syndicate, are known as the Light Force. It works! I made a pocket refractor! High five! Oh, self five. Vanguard, are you there? Vanguard's not here right now. Can I take a message? How can I help you? Um, this is pretty important, Axiom. We need Vanguard. Oh, okay. Uh, sounds dangerous. Vanguard! Sage is in trouble. What? Sage, I'm here. What's going on? taking over people's computers. Send me your location. Just sent it to you. I'm on my way. I'll come too. No, stay here. But I want to help. You're going to be a big help. I think Scourge is up to something, and I need to know if the Syndicate is trying to distract us. Hey, if anything happens in the Nexus, let me know immediately. we Will do, Chief Arino. The lighthouse is in safe hands. I know. I'll keep you posted. Lighthouse, let's be safe. Sir, according to my reports, the Light Force took the bait. They're attempting to stop the decoy. Excellent, Harbinger. With the Light Force distracted, it's time to release the ultimate darkness. But sir, it's highly unstable. Instability is the life's blood of the Syndicate. And with Vanguard running foolish errands, we will not be stopped. I, I will get it ready, sir. Uh, I finally outsmarted you, Vanguard. And the lighthouse will soon be mine again. What's going on? Prism! Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I don't know what's happening. The, the Nexus just started bursting with darkness waves. Well, where's Vanguard? Well, he's out with the rest of the team, and they went to fight the Syndicate because they had their mirror ray, which I don't even know what's going on with that. But, but then the, the, this started happening, and I don't even know what to do. I'll get Vanguard. That's a great idea. Vanguard, we need you in the lighthouse. Prism, what's happening? The Nexus just erupted another set of darkness waves. Scourge was setting us up. Don't do anything until I get back. Got it. All right. Please hurry. It's looking really bad. Oh. Let's just wait quietly. I was just trying to come up with other solutions. Oh, the darkness is spreading rapidly. We don't have time to wait for Vanguard. He's on his way back. Oh, wait a minute. I just created these portable refractors. Maybe we could use them to send the darkness away. See? It's not bad. But I still think we should wait for Vanguard. We don't have time to wait for Vanguard. He will be back. Plus, God is in control. I, I have the power to do something now. Vanguard isn't the only one with superpowers. Trusting God is our best option. I don't know. 
Axiom log number one, 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 one. We are in a bad situation. The syndicate is striking and there's darkness everywhere. Oh, we're defenseless. I need to do something to stop the darkness. The rest of the team is counting on me. Darkness is at 86%. 86.5%. 86.6%. 86 86.7%. Axiom, you need to trust God. I am. Sort of. I know a great verse. Can I see the tablet? Okay. Listen to this. But the Lord has become like a fort to me. My God is my rock. I go to him for safety. Psalm 94, 22. Okay. But what if God gave me the idea for the portable refractors so that I could stop the darkness? For the 198th time, I think we should wait. We always wait. Vanguard is always protecting us, but I can do this, Prism. I don't know. It just. It makes me think of that time that I couldn't wait, so I made the time machine because I couldn't wait, and then I tried again and again and again, and every time I didn't wait, it just made everything worse until I had to destroy I the time. I have to try. Trust me, Prism. It will all be okay. Axiom, get back now. Prism, I can see them. The darkness is just coming from a series of devices. I can use the refractors to teleport them away. Axiom, I still think we should wait. Axiom, what's happening? It didn't work. The refractors just moved the darkness and now it's spreading everywhere. I can't stop it. Axiom, get back to the hub. I can't. I'm trapped. Why didn't I listen? Vanguard, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Where's Axiom? Help me, I'm trapped. Why don't you listen? I tried, but Axiom went in anyway. I'll fix this. He fixed it. Yeah. Vanguard, are you okay? It's gonna take me a little while to recharge. It's all my fault, I should have waited. Guys, we can't keep learning the same lessons over and over. But I, I just... No, listen to me. The Syndicate is onto us. They know that we keep fighting amongst ourselves. They're gonna keep trying to distract us, keep finding ways to tempt us, and eventually get us off our mission. Disobeying orders creates unnecessary emergencies. And one of these days, we're gonna run out of chances. I'm sorry, Vanguard. I know. You just have to make wiser choices, Axiom. Our mission is too important. What do I do now? We need to let God be our defense. Stop trying to do everything on our own. Some battles are just too great. Absolutely understood. Great. I'm gonna check on the rest of the team. If anything happens, please, just wait for me. Vanguard, wait. There's something happening in the Nexus. I think Scourge is trying again. We'll fight him. He might have some of the Nexus, but he'll never be able to get everything. Hey, Light Squad. Surprise, it's me, Spectrum. I'm gonna be doing the Bible story for a while, so get ready for a whole new way of learning. Just kidding. It'll be the same, but I'll be the one telling the story. So, let's get down to business. Today we learned that when life is hard, God is our defender. Axiom learned that the hard way when he tried to fight the syndicate on his own. He was overpowered and actually made the situation worse. Things would have been a lot easier if he just would have listened to Prism. 
she knew that trusting God is always the best choice. Always. God has been leading people for like ever. And if you look through the Bible, you'll see what happens to the people who let God defend them and the ones who try to do it on their own. Back in the Bible days, there was a king named David. He'd done some cool stuff. Like when he was a kid, he fought a giant and totally beat him. Even though David beat a giant, he knew that God was the one who gave him the power to do it. Because David relied on God, he was handpicked by God to be the king of Israel, God's special people. Unfortunately, David couldn't be king forever. And the kings that led Israel after David didn't always do the right thing. There were some kings like David, they would tell the people to worship God and remind them of how much God loves them. They would be an example to the people and ask for God's help instead of trying to handle things on their own. And when those kings relied on God, God was there for them. Now, there were some other kings who didn't obey God. When that happened, God would send people to warn them, kind of like how Prism was trying to warn Axiom to get him to trust God. But those kings wouldn't listen. They were super selfish and tried to do everything they wanted, even if it hurt other people. But God never gave up on the people of Israel. He constantly tried to get them to follow him. And sometimes, a king would turn his life around and follow God. But as time wore on, the bad kings outnumbered the good kings. And eventually, the whole nation of Israel, God's special people, gave up on God. Without trusting God to help them, the whole country of Israel fell apart. The king was captured along with most of the people and taken to a land far, far away. It looked like God's story for his people was over. But here's the amazing thing. God was still in control. Another king was coming. A king who would always be on the throne. A king who would unite everyone. A king who would change the world. And that king is Jesus. That story is so awesome. It reminds me that nothing can stop God's plan. It also helps me remember that we have an important choice to make. Every day we can choose to trust God and do what he says or to ignore him and disobey him. God doesn't always promise that things will be easy, but he does promise to always be there for us when we need him. Some of you are going through some tough stuff right now. Maybe you think it's better to handle it on your own like Axiom did. Or maybe you've done something you know is wrong and you aren't sure if God will forgive you. I can tell you right now, he will. He loves you and wants you to choose to follow him. He's ready to lead you, to help you, and to listen to you right now. Just ask him. Tell him about the tough stuff in your life. It may not go away, but you might just realize that through every part of your story, God has an awesome plan. He'll lead you and defend you no matter what happens. With God defending you, you will still see a light, even in the darkest times. Till next time, Light Squad.